Greetings and welcome back to ExoPlay Super Mario 64 DS for the Nintendo PMS. Um, I'm Exo, of course, and today we're going on a. It's Wabbit season here in Super Mario Land, and uh, since I don't really have that much to say about this, I brought along a special guest. Yeah, what's up, Don? Yeah, what's up, vagina fuck cock knock? When I was a kid, I loved McDonald's. <laughs> I can't even tell you how much I love McDonald's. I collected this all the- a, this, So this is about the quality of the rest of the playthrough, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah so this, sure. this is- in case you guys don't know, this is my brother Eric. He and I usually do the Zebros playthroughs together. <laughs> What's up, guys? Do you two like watching Michael break black bricks? And you probably made that joke like- if you if if you're a self-respecting person, you probably already <laughs> made that joke, right? Uh, yeah, I may have made that joke like ten times. Don't make, yeah. don't make me scrub. I will scrub. <laughs> well, you won't and do I it anyway. Find it. Like you you didn't watch you didn't get all huffy with me when I didn't put in those Peter Griffin troll faces in the. I did. No, no, I saw. I just didn't. I just didn't act on it. I, I tucked it away. <laughs> That's a, that's a, you better watch it, watch out when you put a cherry in your mouth, because you might get a knife in the back, you understand? <laughs> what? It's an old, uh, it's an old saying. Everybody it's knows an that Albany one. expression. So, basically what we're doing here is, there are mini games in Mario 64 DS, and to get them, you have to catch rabbits. I believe there are 28 in all, 7 per character. And the last one you can't get until you have all 150 stars. It replaces the Yoshi cameo from the original. Because obviously Yoshi is playable, so you, you gotta put something up there. Um, yeah, so wait, and there's 28 it, rabbits on the roof? No, there's one rabbit on the roof. It's the, the very last rabbit you can get in the last mini games you can unlock. Uh, you get for catching a, a Luigi rabbit on the roof. Wait, and there's... 28 Luigi rabbits on the roof. Okay, so there are seven rabbits per each character. <laughs> so one of Luigi's seven rabbits is on the roof. There's 28 Luigi's seven rabbits on the roof? Yes. Uh, most six <laughs> out of seven oh, of Yoshi's rabbits are out here in the courtyard. Like, I think what they were trying to do... Since he's the first he's the first character you unlock, I guess what they were trying to do is make it easier for the player to get more minigames right away. So all the other characters, the the rabbits are spread throughout the castle, but not Yoshi, obviously. Uh yeah, and on top of that, there are seven glowing rabbits who will randomly replay it's kind of like the glowing staircase from Little Red Hood. They'll randomly replace <laughs> one of the rabbits that you're going around catching, and if there's if you can get all seven of them, you get another key, and you can use that key to open a door to get the final star in the game. Um, remake or rebreak Little Red Hood when? <laughs> as soon as the remake comes out. It already did. Well, okay, it's what was Hoodwinked. it for? It's called Hoodwinked. <laughs> it's for uh, it's for it's for your mom's uh, DVD player in her car. <laughs> You know, I think there are like those, you know, those shitty DVD menu games that you can play. Like maybe there's one of those. For Mario 64? No, 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 no. For like, you know, back when DVDs were new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got like, like uh, the Harry Potter like the and the menu, Sorcerer's like Stone. Like the menu for that Inspector Gadget DVD. AKA Move Ground the glow Zero. from the regular rabbit to the glowing one. That's that's Ground Zero. <laughs> that is a. Uh, uh, whatever that place where they found that alien, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Roswell! <laughs> um, so as you can see, this is just... ...riveting is... gameplay. I mean, it's... The original only had one Mips. He was Don't in the basement. Two twenty-eighths of the way there. Um, and... Three? You catch... Even? You could catch him twice, and each time he gives you a star. So that those particular stars are gone in this version. Uh, hey, Michael, every time you catch a rabbit in post, <laughs> add, add one second of you screaming from that Mario Galaxy <laughs> funny picture. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't make the connection between... One second. Just one second. All right. Each time. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> Hell Jumper will, will find that very entertaining. You won't do it. You won't. Pussy. Um, 
But I'll it's like if you want to if you want to catch rabbits in the basement as Mario, there are two of them. So Peter Griffin tro troll face. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, you guys can see that Eric hasn't settled down at all. In the time he's been away from Zebros. That's right. Got out, got all the, uh, um, all the lo my love for McDonald's all pent up. <laughs> I was a big fan of, I was a big fan of McDonald's as a kid, so I had to have all the games on the Sega Genesis. One of them was created by a company called Treasure, who also created, uh. A Gunstar Warrior Heroes World? and Alien Storm on the Sega Genesis. They also Wait, made a game that called. The, is, is that the same treasure as like Wario World Treasure? Yes. They, they, made, the they made Ronald McDonald's Treasure Hunt on the Sega Genesis. Does that mean. Wait, does that mean Wario and. That, does, does that mean Ronald McDonald is the third brother? Wario, Waluigi, Ronald? It means that the Black Dude. Jewel from Wario World is the evil energy soul of Ronald McDonald sealed away in a black gem. I'm not gonna lie, that, that kind of makes me uncomfortable because it makes too much sense once you actually start <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> and it also means that Grimace that, was a boss that, that was cut Jules from Wario World. Too clownish. Uh, Dude, yeah, speaking be, of honestly, Grimace would fit right in <laughs> with the like crazy worm guy. Whoa! <laughs> and um, like <laughs> That disgusting lizard man. <laughs> <laughs> or Brawl Doll, who is roommates with Pope Francis in college. <clears throat> Dude, Brawl Doll and Ronald McDonald are from the same ilk. Just look at them. <laughs> Michael, put up a picture of Ronald. The worst one you can find. <laughs> like the one from and those uh, Ron Ron Ru commercials. Ron Ron Ru. Dude, that is that is Ron old. Ron Ru, meet Brawl Doll. How old is that? Like 2004. That's why it's good. I'm on my computer. If you guess that right, I'm gonna be like mad a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna be mad online. I am gonna be mad online. That is what between 2004 and 2007. Okay. So okay, maybe it wasn't like a thing in 2004. Well, did you mean but, when did the ads themselves come out, yeah, or the when ad, was it a meme? The ad came out in 2004, and if that's what you actually guessed, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I don't know how I knew that, I just guessed. Okay, well, I'm gonna take your word on that. <laughs> well, why would I know that otherwise? <laughs> yes, why would you? <laughs> That's the real question. Yeah, you know, on second thought, Eric does have a point. I do have a surprising suppository. By the way, watch this. This is the best rabbit catching scene of all time. Let's wow. fucking pick him up. Because they keep going in the same pattern, uh, and if they're in a small room like this, you could just stand next to them and grab them. Small room. They can kind of cheese their AI, just just like Two how uh, the fish man who wanted a dollar was kind of cheesing me off in that one hypothetical. Hey, how about that? Speaking of treasure and Warrior World and Ronald, it all comes together. Ronald McDonald, and he makes pop tarts too. It all comes together. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's all coming together. This is yeah, my favorite watched, rabbit. He's like in this little al alcove right above the door here. So you just alcove. walk alcove, 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 al alcove. Hey, Michael, al Gore, Al's toy barn. Honestly, not found it, not found it, found it, found it. Speaking of which, Al, Al from from Toy Story is the best villain ever designed by man. <laughs> Uh, Al, Al from Al's Toy Barn is voiced by Wayne Knight. He looks like new! Uh, and Wayne Knight also played Dennis Negri in Jurassic Park, the guy who stole the eggs and shut down the, uh, T-Rex pen and got eaten by Fran from Dinosaurs. Like the, like the bad guy, basically? He, uh, well, I mean, like, he gets killed off pretty quick, but he's probably the closest thing to the bad guy. Um, Wait a minute. Is and he, he also voiced Emperor Zurg. In is he the, the, guy with the Buzz glasses? Lightyear show. In Jurassic Park? He's the guy in the glasses? Uh, he's like kind Listen, of the fat guy. Him. Yeah. He, he has gets, glasses, doesn't he? Yeah, he gets acid in the face, that's the so guy. So basically he looks like Al in real life. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, like let's not... But like I was that saying, guy, the, TV, yeah. the TV show Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue, the cartoon that was on Disney Channel. That. Yep. 
Um, he, yeah. Wayne Knight also voiced Emperor Zurg in that show. What do they call him uh, <laughs> when he first wakes up every day? Wayne Goodnight. Wayne Knight. Morning. <laughs> 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 now that is funny. Yeah, that is catch. funny, guys. Guys, please drop a please drop a like on a, on a please please leave a, a one, comment. One a, like equals click. one prayer. <laughs> ha hashtag pray that for Mario sixty four DS. One because you know Eric Wario. mentioned Ground Zero before, so it's only a, it's only appropriate. Uh, you know, that, that's the one thing with this Let's Play channel. There's a lot of motifs, a lot of deep stuff that you can only get if you're really, really paying close attention. Every frame has so much going on. Look at that. Yeah. So, Michael, what's the consensus on Mario Kong 64 uh, DS? Good, bad, equal? Oh, uh, terrible. I mean, it seems to be Delicious. becoming... I uh, seems to be Flavorful. becoming more... Positive. 135 degrees, perfect on the spot. <laughs> I know it, it seems to go both ways, but I've I've seen more positive takes show up uh, since I made my review. Either I got people to come out of their shells or something else. Hmm. Some I... deep found respectful memories of Mario 64 DS. I, I like this game. I remember, I'm, I think, because the the mini games. Let's talk about the mini games for yeah. a second. I mean, I guess we haven't. I don't know if you've gotten them or if you're going to show them off. I think I'm going to do them in like a extra video after the playthrough. Oh yeah, because I remember actually spending a decent amount of time on them. I don't know if it's this game or another game, because they were in like two games. Yeah, they were in New Super Mario Brothers for the DS as well. Uh, some of the okay, mini games were different in that. They had some new ones and replaced them, but a lot of the same ones carried over. It's kind of um, weird. But they are actually they are actually pretty decent little like score tech games. Yeah. Um, like there's one where you use a slingshot to shoot the bombs at airships. That's pretty fun. There's a I color match. You the draw little trampolines. Yeah, where you try to keep the little three polygonated Mario's in the air. Uh, and I forgot to set it to just one screen for the white rabbit, so you guys get to see the map. <laughs> wow. I was too... Uh, see, I time. would crop it inwards, but then it would make it blurrier, and I wasn't about to do that. So you guys get to see both screens. You lucky bastards. Yeah, you guys get your perfect pixels for, the, for this Marion DS. Okay, Michael, what is... what is... I have an important question for you. This is really important. Okay. So McDonald's comes out with a new line, <laughs> a new line of toys, right? Yeah. And you, there's a collect them all. What is what is the worst thing that they could choose for that? Like uh, the worst theme they could choose for the new toys that would you would still go out and try to get all of the different toys. Go. This is important. Oh, uh, the worst theme that I would still collect for. Yes. Exactly. Uh, this, is, this is how you really get to know a person. <laughs> you know, Eric, I just, right. I just remembered. I've been meaning to dredge this one up for a while because you know you no. always <laughs> question dodger. <laughs> okay, I the, I gave an answer. It was Roach Approach, but but I remembered. <laughs> what the fuck is Roach Approach, and why does why does that sound familiar? <laughs> is that the ter is that the terrible show? They're, they're like direct to DVD oh. Christian. Oh my God. Michael, put, CG put up the box art for Roach Approach. <laughs> but make that the thumbnail. Uh, but uh, sneak I, a tiny Roach always, Approach box in the thumbnail. There, there was, there was, you know, like you I always bring it, up like obscure go. shows that Eric just barely remembers. So here, I've got another one for you. I don't you. think I even remember that. I, I'm remembering that because of you bringing it up. <laughs> you, you, I don't think I've ever seen Roach Approach. Here's another one that you might remember. It, uh, that might make you laugh. It's called Toot and Puddle. That... I know. That's a fucking dumb pig or something. <laughs> but once again, I'm pretty sure I remember this mostly only because you brought it up. Although I have seen this. I remember... I mean, look, look, look. You can't make a kid's show with the word toot in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't you're just do that. Inviting, like, what do you expect? You're just inviting bad thoughts. 
Like what? Like, come on. I feel like you've caught this rabbit 16 times. Is this the rabbit that you gotta catch as each character or something? No, it's... how it works is... Like I said, the white rabbits randomly replace ones that you've already found. So the easiest way to do it is, since Yoshi has like seven of his rabbits just sitting out in the front lawn, is just go out to the front lawn as Yoshi and then keep coming in and out until one of them replaces. And then I ended up getting the last two as Luigi, so that's the last one right there. So that's it's been 18 minutes of fun and glory already. <laughs> yeah, but there are a couple more things to show off because we still have to get Luigi's last rabbit on the roof. And oh, I thought I would show off the wing cap. Of the Lu can Luigi wear the wing cap? No, he can wear it in multiplayer. All the characters can wear it in multiplayer. Uh, actually, the, I think. So you have to be Mario to wear the wing cap? Yeah. We I can don't do know that why. in regular Mario. We, we, you, you gotta. Well, I want to see Wario flying around. Yeah, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea, but it's like, since Luigi's basically Mario, but better, it seemed like they were really hard-pressed to, to come up with reasons to play as Mario. Um, so they... So all they, the fun, little unique stuff that you can do in this game that you can't do in Mario 64, like wear a wing cap and, and jump? And wall jump. <laughs> like, Mario's the only one who can wall jump. Oh. Hardly, it hardly matters much because there's not much wall jumping in this game, um, and <laughs> Luigi can usually just maybe back. you. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not a super speed runner like Eric is. That's right. Broke the world record twice Eric yesterday. Got, Eric got to 400th place on the it. rewards once, and he was proud I don't of think it. it was four. I think it was in the 300s. Okay. Although to be fair, a lot of people don't even post their score when it's that embarrassing. To be terrible. <laughs> So, so it's really probably like in the several hundred thousands, maybe billions, <laughs> somewhere in that zone. Yeah. So that was the rare exclusive rabbit. Yeah. So that's that's supposed to be like your little reward for getting 100% in this version is that you get to unlock the last <laughs> Catching minigame. another rabbit. Well, you get oh. the key from the rabbit to unlock Three the last minigame. And then you also have this, like for the original. So I think they... Like in the original you got like this weird... Like, you know how in Super Mario Bros. 3, when you get a star man, you do this weird flippy jump like Samus yeah. Aran? Like, that's what you got in the original. Oh, when you did a triple editing. jump, you would look do, like, that. this weird screw attack thing. Or a space jump. But in this, so wait. in this version, they took that out. But they still have so the... So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can't you get the wing cap in this game, like, elsewhere? Yeah, I mean, it's in other levels, like before. It's like how it works is uh, instead of having the caps, they have the power flower, and depending on what character you play as. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but sometimes when Mario hits the block, he gets a wing feather, and then he uses that to get the wing cap. Gotcha. But, uh, and if he gets the power flower, he gets the pea balloon from Mario World. Yep, 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 yep. I have played this game, it's just. It's been a while. It's been a while! It wouldn't be you and me doing a post video without some. Uh, Pearl Jam. Uh, post grunge butt rock. <laughs> and no, no, it's not Pearl Jam. It's more like, uh, you know, Nickelback and Beyond. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard of the Alex Band Band? No. Oh, listen to that. That's. Uh, are we done? Wait. Yeah. That. Oh, I, I mean, some like we can go for a little bit about McDonald's. Okay. Finish up your thoughts on Ronald McDonald. <clears throat> Sexy. All right. I'm good. All right, folks, that's it for the Sexy rabbits. Clown Costume Halloween 2018, Amazon.com. Indeed. Uh, so that that was the rabbit hunt. We have all the rabbits. We have all the mini games. Uh, we, we have, have the best the the walls. And we have the last of the 150 stars. So all that we have left is the final boss and the ending. And it's probably the mini games and an extra video. So I'll see you guys on Friday for the finale of Exoplay oh, Super Mario 64 DS. Um... Anything you want to say, Eric, before we wrap up? Breaking black bricks in Mario 64DS is the most fun you can possibly have while going to McDonald's.